Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. It's been quite a while since I made my last video, about six weeks I think, and it'll probably be a while before I make the next video. I've got exams going on so it's a little bit tricky to make videos right now, but I'll be, I'll be back soon enough. Anyway, I'm making this nice short video today uh, because something came in the mail and I think I know what it is. Uh, you can probably tell from the title of the video. Uh, but let's open this up and get it out. And now that I've got it open, uh, we'll grab out what I've ordered. You can see what I have here is some fancy electrodes for future electrochemistry experiments. And here we have the fancy electrodes. Uh, first off we have an MMO electrode in particular for when I want to make a big chlorate cell or possibly a more advanced chloralkali cell. Next up we have a titanium cathode. I can get it out. Uh, this is basically uh, just the perfect cathode you can have for most electrochemical experiments uh, being very inert or at least it's very resistant to chemical attack and what it does is it normally uh, limits side reactions in a lot of electrochemical processes. And finally uh, we have the platinum anode which should be useful for a great variety of things. Um, platinum is basically the most inert anode you can get hold of. Uh, it works for basically any electrochemical synthesis as the anode uh, because it's so resistant to oxidation. I'll probably be using this for a bunch of stuff in the future, possibly if I choose to make a perchlorate cell, uh, making hydrogen peroxide, various ways of making sulfuric acid, um, making ethane from sodium acetate. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with a platinum electrode. Did I mention it's platinum coated onto titanium? If I didn't mention that, uh, that's a very important point. It's not actually pure platinum, as nice as that would be. It is just a titanium mesh uh, plated with a very, very thin layer of platinum to be electrochemically active. So now we get to the bit uh, of the video that the title is actually about. Uh, I want to check that this platinum electrode is definitely really platinum coated onto titanium and not some fake maybe nickel or iron or something like that. The reason I'm doing this is because of the fact that there are a lot of fakes on the internet. Uh, if you have a look on eBay for platinum electrode uh, most of the things you'll see are actually fakes and I've been tricked a couple of times in the past getting a platinum electrode and then it turns out to be not really platinum but I'm almost certain this one's real uh, but I would like to just double check. Now Nerd Rage has made a video on this topic I think what he does is puts a Dremel to the titanium strip here and if it sparks then you know it's titanium and then he puts a magnet to the uh, mesh here to prove that the coating is not ferromagnetic which platinum shouldn't be uh, but I think the best way for me to check whether this platinum is real is to check whether it can work as a catalyst for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide being a very common chemical uh, this method should be pretty easy for anyone to test their own platinum electrodes with. So literally all we have to do is get a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in a pipette and I'm pretty sure the strip here is also coated in platinum so if we put a bit of hydrogen peroxide on there we should see some reaction and after a few seconds you can see clearly there is a whole bunch of oxygen gas being liberated off the anode surface uh, so it's very clear that the metal that is coated on whatever this electrode is is um, catalytically decomposing the hydrogen peroxide yep see so that's a definite reaction there excellent stuff we know that this platinum electrode is definitely real and it's as easy as that just with a couple of drops of peroxide uh, you can show that you definitely have platinum on your hands um, other metals uh, will almost definitely not produce this reaction with the exception of maybe gold or some of the other platinum group metals but if your electrode is plated with gold it's pretty clear 
and it is very unlikely that they will have plated your fake platinum electrode with a different platinum group metal because that would be just as expensive as plating it with regular old platinum. Finally, to just show you that this reaction uh, only works on a platinum surface, as I've said before, I've got some of the hydrogen peroxide which I've put onto a nickel strip there, and you can see in the drop there, you can't really on camera, um, it looks like a few bubbles, but I can tell you, tell you that uh, those are just specks of dust in the droplet. Uh, same goes for a bit of stainless steel wire, which I've put in another puddle here. Maybe if you left the metals in the uh, peroxide for long enough, they'd eventually produce oxygen gas, but with platinum, it's really almost instant when you see the bubbles. So it should be very clear when you do actually have platinum metal on your electrode. And that's that. Uh, with these electrodes now, you should eventually uh, be able to look forward to a whole bunch of more complex and exciting electrochemical reactions on this channel. See you later.